other direction goes away from you and towards you away from you and towards you away from you and towards you just relax and that same thing on the other side bring your other knee up squeeze it into your body roll your ankle switch into the other opposite direction push your palm push your toes away in away and in away and in and relax now take your heel to your butt and hold it stretching front of your quad little bit feel that sensation and release and go other way and release and now make a figure four bring it in front and push your knee down and down and down and release same thing down 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 and release now bring your hands forward open your fingers wide as our fish bring your thumb in wrap it up open up then wrap it up bring your hands straight nice and smooth make a nice dow the flower <clears throat> open your fingers wide every time and shake it up all right make a thumb one more time bring it in and make fists and start rolling them up other way around and shake it up. fingers on your shoulders big inhale pack your abs throw the ball as far as possible throw it away exhale exhale one more exhale and shake it up okay awesome all right i think now we are ready but just want to get a little bit of length in the calf so clasp your hands look at your nails and take it up into the ceiling and come up on your balls of the feet lift your heels up and up and feel that sensation in your calf breathe breathe lift 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 if you want you can lift your gaze up but it might be a little imbalance that's totally fine. okay now that find a comfortable seated posture <clears throat> right bring your hands to heart center we'll start up with a small prayer so it's a chain prayer we start with that today om namo arihantam namo siddhanu namo ayariyam namo uchchaya namo loya sabe sahun isa panchana kar sarva apnash right with that take a big inhale for your om gather all the positivity around you one more time big inhale awesome with that said we'll start off with a twist take your left hand to your right knee inhale your right hand up into the back and look over your right shoulder and give a gentle twist use your grip on your knee and be nice to your body and gently open it up keep breathing do not hold your breath keep your back strong and straight three two and one begin here and turn to center and exhale opposite side your right hand on your left knee and left hand goes behind 
Give it gentle twist to your body, twisting as much as your body allows you in this state. Keep your back straight and strong and breathe nice and smooth. Three, two, and one. Begin here and come back to center. All right? Now bring your hands behind. Bring your knees up and windshield wiper your knees to restore any blood circulation that you are holding up in that pose. Come back to normal seated pose and take your right hand. Inhale your hands wide. Take your right hand down. Inhale your left hand up into the ceiling and lift your ribcage up for a gentle stretch. Reach the ceiling. So you feel that normal stretch as you lift your whole left side of your body into the ceiling. And with that, gently drop to your right side or if you're comfortable, you can bend your elbow, bring that to the mat and keep stretching your left side. And you can gaze up towards your elbow or to your thumb. It's called Angusta Drishti. And you are breathing and smiling as usual. Keep stretching. Keep stretching. Three, two, and one. Big inhale and nicely come. All smooth movements today. Exhale. Drop your left hand to the mat. Inhale your right hand up into the ceiling. And lift now a little bit. Get that millimeter height elevation into the roof. And start bending your elbow. If you want to, otherwise keep your hand straight and stretch it out towards your left side. Keeping your hand straight. Breathe Three, two, and one. Big inhale. And slowly down. Exhale, both hands on either side of your hips. Take two breaths, just letting all the agitation sink in. It's called rebound. No fidgeting. Awesome. Now, clasp your hands in the front. Look at your beautiful nails and push your palms away. Palms away, away, away. Straight, stretch it out. If you notice, you are opening your shoulder blades. So we are expanding our thoracic cavity, the breathing cavity. So stretch it out, relax your shoulders. I can see you smile. So start smiling. Smile, smile and stretch and stretch and stretch. And with the stretch, inhale, take your gaze up into the ceiling. And exhale, relax. And now clasp your hands at the back and do the same thing opposite. Now bring your shoulder blades closer and closer and expand your rib cage. Enjoy that full breath into your lungs. Stretching out. Bring your shoulder blades even more closer and lift your chin up, stretching your thyroids a little bit here. Three, two, and one. Big inhale and come back. Just relax again. Hands either side of your hips. Two breaths. Right? Open your eyes, open your arms, and now take your left elbow under, make eagle arms. So what this does is, again, one more time, in a different direction, you are stretching your back of your ribcage. So if you can't, it's okay, right? You can always hug yourself and open up the back one more time. 
Do not hold your breath. Keep breathing. Exhale, release. And now bring your right elbow under. Relax your shoulders. Keep breathing. And release. Okay? Roll your shoulders gently. And we'll go into what is called as cow face pose. Bhumukhasana. All right? So you are Left elbow is on top of your, try to stack your knees as much as possible. Open your arms. Bring your, since your left knee is on top, bring your left elbow under. And one more time, eagle arms. And lean forward. Pull your body forward. So tuck your abs and lean forward. Three, two, and one. Inhale, gently come up. All right. Don't change. Just release, unwind your arms and take your left hand up into the ceiling and bring your bicep right behind your left, left bicep behind your left ear. All right. Use your right hand to adjust it to keep your neck straight and gently, gently bend your left elbow, tap your back. And all you have to do is take your right hand, wrap it behind and give a nice tug. Hold your fingers. If it is a little difficult, that's okay, right? You can use a band, you can use a rope, you can use a yoga band, chuni, whatever works for you. But keep your neck straight, lift your ribcage up and look forward. I know you're smiling and really. These poses you do very gently. You take your time to unwind. You take your time to wind up. So be careful and just relax and stretch your thoracic cavity in a diagonal direction. Three, two, and one. Take a big inhale and gently take your time to unwind. Just bring your hands either side of your body. Just relax. Two breaths for rebound. All right. Now time to switch. So bring your other knee on top. So your right knee is on the top. Open your arms. Come into eagle arms. So now your right elbow is under. Tuck your abs, lean forward and breathe here for three, two, and one. Inhale, come up. Open your arms, unwind your arms. Now take your right hand up into the ceiling. Bring your right bicep. Use your left hand to adjust your right bicep behind your right ear to keep your neck straight. And now bend your right elbow. Use your left hand to help support. And now once you are there, take your left hand and wrap it behind you. And gently lift your chest up. And look forward. Again, use whatever it helps you. Otherwise, just hold your shirt and move your fists closer and closer. This Poses really helps you keep your stance when you stand or when you are in a meeting or presenting or anything like that. It improves your stance. Big inhale. Three, two, and one. Inhale and take your time to release. And bring both hands either side. Just relax. No fidgeting. Keep breathing. Enjoy that sensation in your body. All right. I think now we are ready to get into our all fours. So slowly come into all fours. So 
basically your knees are right below your shoulders your shoelaces of your feet are on the mat and your wrists are below your shoulders okay exhale push your hips to your heels inhale come up exhale inhale sink your movement with your breath exhale and inhale as you come forward on your inhale slowly straighten out your legs exhale in exhale in next time you are on your inhale just relax going directly into bhujangasana relax your hips move them to the left to the right and try to lift your chin up and open your shoulders let your chest jet through and relax push your hips into the mat as much as possible so it's a nice back bend it really helps any low back pain any time you feel your low back is stressed out try to come into this posture and relax your hips move them to the left to the right and yeah, this really helps you and then on your next exhale look over your one shoulder inhale back to center and exhale over to your other shoulder inhale back to center and switch sink it up with your breath nicely don't overdo any pose so those are the things which you we always tell you to get slowly get into this rhythm okay now exhale just simply come back into all fours now stretch your spine so take your right hand away and left heel back stretch try to tuck your abs here and breathe Mm. Stretch a little bit as if somebody is pulling you from the front and the back. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, so release. Now do the same thing on the opposite side. Your left hand and right knee. Stretch, 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 stretch. Mm. Two and one. Release. All right. Now it's time to go into. the first down dog of the day so what we do remember we opened our fingers wide so take it to the top of the mat and try to keep your pointers parallel so the pointer fingers are parallel your knuckles are bent and like a tiger claw grip into the mat and then slowly tuck your toes and start lifting your hips up into the ceiling and try to reach such a way that your heels go to the ground as your heels are going to the ground you are not looking at your fingers but slowly tuck your chin and start looking at your abs or navel and keep pushing your chest into your thighs and keep breathing don't stop it here if you can take your forehead to the mat go for it so it's called parvatasana it's a variation of down dog or adhomukha svanasana they say so adhomukhi So, if you take your forehead into the mat, they call parvatas. Right? Inhale, look forward, and gently, gently bring your right leg between your hands. Okay? Your right leg is between your hands, and then drop your left knee to the mat, and shoelaces of your left leg to the mat. And from here, all we do is bring your hands to your front knee. This will be a little bit more. aggressive on your back bend which will help you with your low back pain and any discomfort in your low back you can just stay here and keep pushing your hips forward so pump it down 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 you are opening your quad muscles here and your hip on your left side so feel free to be gentle on yourself otherwise if you are uncomfortable bring your hands to the mat no big deal all right if you are comfortable take your hands up Still grip your palms, and then gaze up into the ceiling. Maybe a back bend here, yeah. back bend here, yeah. back bend here. Yeah. Keep breathing. Exhale. Gently bring both hands to the mat, either side of your foot, and start bending your back knee and straightening your front leg. Okay. Seated half splits. This is 
So you can just stay here and take your left hand to your right toe and pull. And to feel that hamstring stretch on your front leg. That's what we are trying to do here. Hamstring stretch on your right leg. And then if you can take your forehead to your front knee, that's great, do it. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come forward. Now bring both hands inside. Both hands are inside of your right leg. You can stay here and push your hips more down to the mat. Or if you are comfortable, come down on your elbow. It's called grasshopper. And it's a hip opener. If you notice, your right hip is gently falling away. You are like this. And let your right knee fall away. How much ever. All right. And look like a foot away from your fingers or top of your mat. And you're smiling and breathing. All right. On your inhale, gently come up and bring your foot back between your hands. And now let's switch our feet. Okay. Your right leg goes back. Left leg comes. Take your time to gently bring it in. No hurry at all. Drop your right leg and right toes to the mat. And once you are there, do the same thing. If you are comfortable, come up. Bring your hands to your front knee. Clasp your hands and push it onto the top of your knee. And then gently bring your hips and straighten your back as much as you can. And then you can find a back bend here. See that? Or if you are comfortable, you still grip your palms up into the ceiling and drop back. You are all smiling in this pose, guys. Three, two, and one. Exhale. Gently bring your hands back to the mat on either side of your foot and start bending your back knee and stretching your left hand too. Okay. Gently stretch it, stretch it, stretch it and take your right hand to your left toes, pull them towards you for a little bit more sensation and take your forehead to your knee if you can. Three, two, and one. Inhale, look forward, come back. Bring both hands inside and push your hips forward to the mat as much as you can. And if you want, you can transition to your elbows and drop your knee. It's such a great hip opener. You're all breathing and smiling. Inhale, slowly come up. If you are on your elbows, come back to your hands. Bring your foot in between. And now you try to bring your back foot towards your front. Going into forward fold, a rag doll as you say. Inhale, look forward, lift your, cut your right toes and bring your right leg to join the left leg. Now, both hands either on the mat or on your knees. Try to straighten your legs here and look up towards the seal. Your back is flat. Couple of breaths here. Right. Now, bend your knees gently, little bit. Put your tummy on your thighs. And gently take your hands a little bit down, back towards your heels and bring your forehead between your knees. Keep breathing. And if you can, wrap your knees with your armpits here to massage the lymph nodes under your chest. And then squeeze your forehead as close to your shin or knees, wherever it goes. Protect your chin. 
Hmm. You can go on to speak in your black here. Inhale, look up and gently walk your hands along your legs to come up and shake it off. I hope you are enjoying these stretches. And then now what we'll do is the real warm-up. The real warm-up is our Surya Namaskaras. Five sun A's. And five sun beats. There is no variation, but first one will go a little slow, second one a little bit faster. But from third, I want you all to be thinking up with your breath. You will start with your inhale or exhale, and then do the pose. Okay, your breath leads the pose. Remember that and smile always there and always breathing. Your exhale will lead into your inhale and at the end of the inhale it will lead into your exhale. No rag, C or saw kind of breathing. It is only a smooth sine wave breathing. Got it? Alright. Join your hands to heart center at the top of the mat. Alright. Inhale your hands up and then take your right hand to your left wrist. And then exhale for a nice side stretch. Keep stretching. Inhale, come up. Switch the grip. So your left hand is on your right wrist and pull to the left side. Inhale, come up. You will post your arms. And then maybe a back bend here or you can leave it straight. Inhale. Abs here. Tuck your abs. You are engaging your abs here. And your mola bandha, the bathroom muscle, squeeze it up. Your udyana bandha, the tummy lock, you're squeezing it. So when you're breathing, you're breathing into the thoracic cavity. That's where we need to warm it up. That's where we want to remove the impurities. If there are any. So our breathing is easier as we are as we step out of our mat to do our regular chores. Okay. One more time. Inhale your hands up. Take your right hand to your left wrist. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Switch the grip, exhale to the left. So your left hand holding your right wrist. Inhale, go push your arms, look up, tuck your abs, stand eye forward. So you always engage your core when you are falling forward. Inhale, look up, plant your hands and walk your feet to the back, going into a high plank. Bring your knees down and elbows close to the body. Chaturanga. Dandasana, they say, low plank. Inhale, straighten your arms, look up. Exhale, tuck your abs, tuck your toes, rings, your hips up, inverted V. Adho Mukha Shunasana. We stay here for three breaths just to catch up with our breath and soften it up. Keep pushing your crown of the head into the mat. Inhale, look forward. You can walk or you can bend your knees and jump to the top. Inhale, flat back, look up at the ceiling. And exhale, the same red doll pose we did before. Inhale, nice and smooth, strong core, come up all the way. And rinse and repeat. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Go and push your arms. Tuck your abs and I forward. Inhale, look up, plant your hands, bend your knees, jump or step to your low plank, elbows close to the body. Inhale, upward facing dog, Udhamukhi, or exhale, downward facing dog, Adhamukhi. Catch up with your breath. Engage your abs, don't leave your abs. Inhale, look forward at the end of third exhale. Bend your knees, jump or step to the top of the mat, flat back, look at the ceiling, exhale, forehead to your knees. Strong core, inhale, come up. Third one, exhale to the right, inhale up, exhale to the left, 
you need to have a good posture on this back bend. Tuck your abs and I. Knees are flat back. Plant your hands. Jump up step to the top of to the back. And low plank. There are different variations of Chaturanga. If you are doing Ashtanga Yoga, you basically lift your hips and then come like that. But you make sure your chest is not touching. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, down. Inhale. Don't wait for me if you are in sync with your breath. Keep going. Inhale, look forward. Look bend. Jump step. Inhale, flat back. Hold head to your knee. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Come on. Keep going. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Good boost. Back bend. Tuck your abs and back. Inhale, flat back. Plant your hands. Jump step. Low back. Inhale upward facing the exhale downward facing. Three breaths. Inhale, look forward. Bend your knees, jump or step to the top. Inhale, flat back. Go to your knee. All right. Inhale, nice and strong. Engage your abs. Last one. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Goal post. And I exhale. Inhale flat back. Plant your hands. Jump or step. Exhale out into a long Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale Udho Mukhi. Exhale Adho Mukhi. Three strong breaths. This is where you re-engage your abs, re-engage your molavanda, the bathroom muscles, re-engage your breath through Jai Pranayama. Go for it. Inhale, look for Bend your knee. Jump step. Inhale, side back. Overhead to your knee. Squeeze. And now from here, transitioning to Sandhi, we will go into a chair pose Utkatasana. Okay? So Utkatasana. All you do is your knees try to keep as much as possible on your ankles. So your shin is all straight as much as and you push your hips to the back and down. And then you won't leave it a banana like that. So you tuck your tailbone. See that curvature? You don't leave it like that. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. And lift your hands up. All right. Sink your hips down a little bit. Okay, this is the starting pose for Sandhi. Tuck your abs, keep breathing. If you're breaking your sweat, that's great. But keep breaking your smile more and more and keep breathing in. All right. Bring your hips down and open arm twist. You move with your hips down. You move your right hand away to the back and sink down. Inhale, bring it back up. Go the other side. Inhale, bring it back up. And now bring your hand, leg straight. Back bend again. Exhale, turn and forward. Engaging your abs. Inhale, flat back. There will be three down dogs in this. So, first of the three coming up. Exhale, you know what to do in Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then bring your right leg between your hands. Back heel pivots down into Veerabhadrasana. Warrior one. And when you find your balance come up. Okay. Bring your right knee which is in the front. Bend it down. Back leg is straight. Strong. Equal weight in both the legs. And inhale your arms with a Veerabhadrasana. Back bend. Look up. On your inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Veerabhadrasana. Inhale, reverse warrior. Expand your right side of your chest. Exhale, cartwheel your arms back to the mat. Right leg goes back. Low plank, second of the down dog coming up. Inhale up. Exhale down. Immediately bring your left leg between your hands. 
Clean here your hands up into warrior mode. Bend your front knee. Left knee, left side now. Look up. Exhale out into warrior two. So in your warrior two, your shoulder blades come closer. And then flip your palms down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pack your abs and cartwheel your left leg goes back. No plank. Third of the three down dogs coming up. Down dog. This is where you rest for three breaths. <sighs> Re engage your abs. Re engage your breath. Re engage your smile. Inhale, look forward. Bend, jump, step. Inhale, flat back. Forehead to your knee. And bend your knees. Inhale, up chair. So we started at chair. We came back at chair. So that's the first of the five. All right, ready? A little bit more pace. We should be sweating by the time. We finish all the five. All right. Chair pose. Come on, go for it, guys. Swing your right arm away. Bring it back up. Left arm away. Bring it back up. Back bend. Exhale forward. Inhale, look up. Plank jump step. Exhale, long, low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, adhom ki. Right leg. Inhale up. Oh, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cut. Right leg goes back. Low plank. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Left leg between. Inhale, Virbhadra. Exhale to two. To reverse. Exhale, cut. Left leg goes back. Low plank. Upward facing dog. And down. That's pretty much it. Three breaths. Inhale forward. Bend jump step. Going back into chair pose. Flat back, forehead your knee. Bend your knees. Chair. Third one, guys. Come on. Breathe with your breath. Be strong. And then go with your motion. Flat back, flat jump step. First of the three. Come on, keep moving. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg between your hands. Warrior series. Inhale up. Exhale to two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, cartwheel. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale downward, left leg. Inhale up. Exhale it out. Inhale, scoop it up. Cartwheel it down. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale upward facing down. Exhale down. Three breaths. Inhale, look for. Bend your knees. Jump step. Inhale, flat back. Forehead to your knee. Sink. Chair pose. Inhale up. Strong core. Two more. Come on. You can do it. Open arm twist to the right. Open arm twist to the left. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flat back. Plank jump step. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, adho mukhi downward. Right hand. Inhale up. Exhale it up. Scoop it up. Heart knee it down. Right leg goes back. Low plank. Inhale up. Exhale down. Left leg between your hands. Inhale up. Virbhadra. To two. Scoop it up. Heart knee it down. Exhale. Left leg goes back. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Don't give up, guys. Keep practice. You can join me. Inhale, look up. 
Exhale, fall forward. Look up. Exhale, perfectly done. Last one, chair pose. Everybody, please join. All right, open arm twist. Right arm away. Bring it back up. Left arm away. Bring it back up. Back bend. Stand back forward. Grabs. Like back. Exhale to low plank. Inhale. Exhale down, down, right leg between your hands. Inhale. Exhale to Virabhadra to Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel. Right leg goes back. All right, low plank. Inhale up. Exhale, Abhamukhi. Left leg. Inhale, Virabhadra. Exhale out to two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel. Left leg goes back. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, almost done. Inhale, look forward, jump step, inhale, side back, forehead, your knee, sink, come up into a chair pose. We'll stay in chair pose for a minute, okay? That's your action. I'm sweating, we should be also be sweating now. If I'm sweating, we should be sweating. All right, chair pose. Basically, you by lift, pushing your knees back, you are lifting your toes also. Your toes are also floating. Sink down a little bit. Sink down a little bit. Sink down a little bit. Chair pose. As if you're sitting in a virtual chair. Come on, you can do it. Let your tail go and relax. Come back. Whew. How are we doing? Good. Awesome. All right. We'll do some brain yoga right away before we go into our core strength brain. You know, brain yoga, correct? So, all you do is hip the distance between your feet. All right. Take your left hand to your right ear low. And your right hand, your left ear low. My Indian friends very well clearly know what this is going to be by looking at this pose. So with your bent pointer and thumb, give a gentle massage to your ear cartilage. Stretch in all, all possible directions because this cartilage is our ear is something that we take it for granted. We don't massage these cartilages ever. So stretch your ear in all possible directions and bend your pointer and press your thumb into it. So with that grip, hold your ear lobes. If you have any ear rings, be careful, but give a gentle squeeze to your Ear lobes. Then all you do is with your hip width distance or maybe a little bit more, all you do is keep bending your knees. Right? Go down. Okay. This is the position. This is the full sinking. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. 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 Exhale, exhale, three, two, and one. Inhale up and release. Woo! Make your babies. By doing this pose, any um, gray matter in the system in your brain will be slowly reverted back. Then any autism conditions will be really cured by this. So that is a great advantage of this. You can Google it on Super Brain Yoga. It is on YouTube. So it's fun. Practice it. This we used to do in India. Whenever we never used to do homework or do some mischief in school, our teachers used to make do this. All right. Now with that, mountain lunges. Okay. Five knees inside, five knees outside. Five sets each. Okay. Coming to high plank. Breathe. 
that erupts and bring your right knee into the nose. Take it back, left knee. One, two, three, four, five. Now take your knees outside your elbow. One, two, three, four, five. Come back into extended child's pose, knees down, bring your hips to your heels and gently sit down for five breaths. Right, inhale, come up, side plank, what's this starts now? Going into high plank, now bring your right hand between and twist. Take your left hand up into the ceiling. There are different variations. Feel free to use your version. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Option. Knee down. Okay. Twist. Thread your left arm under your right armpit. Bring it back. All options. Yoga is all about options, guys. Inhale up. Exhale. In. In. Right? Gently bring both hands to the mat and switching sides. Inhale your now opposite hand. Right hand up. Exhale your hips down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Three, two, and one. Gently bring both hands to the mat. Knees down, child's pose. Three, two, and one. All right. Slowly come up. Sit in Vajrasana. Okay. Anytime you think you over it, but your tummy is not settled down, sit in this pose. So basically, you are compressing the area of your calf and your back of your thighs and massage. So sit in this pose as, well, as long as possible and lift your chin up. Keep your back straight. This really helps massaging the lymph nodes back of your legs. And that really improves your immunity. So it's a great thing. I'm sweating. I hope you're all sweating too, a little bit, right? Which is good. It's just snowing outside in the East Coast. So I'm enjoying this sweat. With that said, let's do some balancing poses. Okay. We are warmed up and juicy. So use the heat to stretch our body a little bit more deeper. All right. Coming into standing pose. All you do is now shoulder openers. Shoulder openers, we do two, two things. So basically stand like maybe three feet away. And the hands on the wall. Tuck your abs and now make 90 degree with your hips. So your hands are still on the wall and you are stretching your neck towards your navel, chin towards your navel, and pump it. Your crown of the head towards the wall, gently. Don't break the wall, gently. Leave your shoulders up. So if you notice, you are opening your deltoids, you are opening your trapezoids, and lateral. So it's the complete shoulder opening is what you are forcing. This really helps with any low back pain also. So enjoy this, guys. Don't overdo again. If you can do it, come back and redo it after taking three breaths. But otherwise, 10, 9, 8, tuck your abs, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly come back up. All right, relax your shoulders and roll your shoulders. Nice and smooth, big circle. Five to one side and switch five more. Right. Now we'll get into the second phase or the last phase for the shoulder openers. Inhale, you push your one heel and one side of the foot, your pinky toe side of the foot into the wall and opposite hand on your hip and walk your fingers up as much as you can. And all you do is push your armpit into the wall. Armpit into the wall. This really helps you open up the lats and for trapezoid. So it's a very amazing exercise. One. So don't move your hips. Just move your upper body. Press it in. And you are smiling, right? Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Then inhale, come back up. We have to do the other side. So switch direction. Walk your warm hands up, fingers up, and tuck your hips. Fix it and move it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly come. One more time, roll your shoulders, nice and smooth. Other side. Awesome. So that's with the shoulders. Now we'll do twists again with the wall, right? You don't need a fancy equipment to do all this. You just need a wall. Okay. Now, face away from the wall, maybe a foot away, and a little bit mat width distance. So maybe a little bit more than your hip width. And all you do is look back and put your arms on the wall. Try to not move your hips as much as you can, only your upper body. Okay. And just put your arms right behind you and look at the back side of yourself. Don't overdo again. Only till how much ever your body lets you. Or if you have a chair, use the chair handles and twist how much ever you are. I hope you get the message. All right. Don't overdo. And gently, gently twist how much ever you can. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, other side. One side might be easier than the other, guys. Notice that. And don't overdo on the easier side. Our goal is to balance our body. So let's balance it. So don't overdo on the easier side. For me, this side is a little bit more easier. So I just don't want to go all the way like that yet. Three, two, and one, inhale, come back to center. Okay, so if you notice, there might be some stretch in your lats here, which is good. That's what we are trying to stretch. And we are trying to bring some juice into your spinal cord to help any low back pain. All right, now, you can do the same exercise as before, but if you can do a little bit more better than what you did before, please feel free to do it. So I go back again like that. And now what I do is I walk the arm in front of me to the back arm and then go a little bit more deep. See that? So you're twisting your spine a little bit more aggressively here. Tuck your abs and twist. And twist. How much are it lets you? You can just do like what you did before. That's totally fine. All right, stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one, and take your time to slowly back to the front. Right? Now we get it right. Now we do the other side. All right. And walk. You are smiling and breathing. Two things you are doing for sure. Three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly unwind yourself and come back to center. Right? So you, we did shoulder, we did the twist. Now we'll do back bend. How about back bends, guys? You know back bends, right? Chakrasana, or Dhanurasana, or Cobra, Bhujangasana. They are all back bends. So before we get there, we need to condition our body. How do we do that? All right, again, stand facing the wall. Maybe your arm length away. If you have a pillow or if you have a block, all you do is put it to the wall around your hip width distance and lean like that. So you are pushing your hip bone into your either your block or pillow. If you don't have either of them, that's okay, no big deal, right? You push your hips to the wall. Right? Now you bring your hands to your back and all you do is push roll on your wall keep your legs straight and look at the back wall so all you do is like that like that keep pushing your hips to the wall and keep opening the back keep opening the back you're opening your thyroid also can Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're all smiling. Two and one. Slowly inhale and come back. Take your time. No hurry. Bring your hands to the wall. Slowly face the wall, side of the wall. And then gently, gently do a counter pose. Fall forward, hold your opposite elbows and pump yourself down one side to the other side. Tuck your chin because you opened your thyroid. Tuck your chin, massage your thyroid. Hold your opposite elbows now, switch. And slowly come. Whew. Good job. Now we do a little bit more aggressive, okay? Or if you want to do just the one you did before, do it. Otherwise, eventually I want you all to do standing chakrasana. So basically all you do is fall back and hold like that and hold your ankles to your wrist or wrist to your ankles. So it will be like that with your legs straight, like a ellipse. That's the pose we want to get eventually. Okay? Even I am trying. My Guruji does that, so I want to finally one day reach it. Perfect. But for that, I need to condition my body. All right. Now again, do the same thing. Push your hips. And now, either you can crystal grip your palms or do the same thing as before. Exhale. Fall back. Fall back. Use your shoulder opener you did before. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come up. Do the same counter pose. Switch your elbows. Uh, 
right? Inhale, come up. And relax. How do you feel? Your whole back is opening up like crazy. And any back pain, guys, any stance issues, these days we do use our cell phones a lot. So our bodies, our neck, which is almost 10 kg, is like that. And stuff like being that is like that. So all these things will cause tremendous amount of pressure on your low back, causing any low back issues. Now we'll find some balancing pose before we go into seated poses, okay? Use a wall maybe and come into three poses. If you are all comfortable. I know my yogis are comfortable, so feel free. Open your knee a little bit more to the side and lift your chin up and down. Why you are massaging your inner thigh? Again, link notes that improves your immunity. Okay, from here I want you to transition into a dancer. How do you do that? Bring your knee forward, take your arm to your ankle and inhale your other arm up and kick into the palm. And breathe. Gently release, making going into eagle pose. So your left leg, left thigh is on top of your right thigh, and your eagle arms again, left elbow under, and same. Relax your shoulders, open your shoulder blades, apply pressure between your elbows and thighs, and smile. And gently release. Whew. Right, going the other way around. Three pose, Rukshasana. Bring your knee forward, going into Nataraja Asana, the dancer. Get hold, find your balance. Inhale your hand up. And now kick your ankle up into your palm and balance. Three, two, and one. Gently release. Bring your right thigh on top of your left standing leg and bring your right elbow under your left. Feel that stress in your shoulders. Relax. Lift your elbows. Relax. Apply pressure between your elbows and thighs. Three, two, and one. Gently relax. Whew. Awesome to you guys. And now find a comfortable seated posture going into Janu Shirsasana. Do you want to try splits? Middle split. And then we can do side splits. How about that? Because we did all the comfortable warm up postures. You are sweating, I'm sweating. So you should be able to do it. Ready? All right. Do only how much ever it lets you. We'll start with the middle splits, okay? Do only how much ever you can. Don't unnecessarily cause extra pain, then you can do it, okay? Going into goddess pose. Keep breathing. Sink your hips down. Keep sinking your hips down. Put your elbows and sink. Pump your hips down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back into God's hands. And now bring one hand forward, one hand backward, and start stretching your legs, straighten them. And then slowly, 
support your body weight and your hands walk your hips to the center if you can if you can go any further that's totally fine just support your body weight and your hands and then slowly come out but if, i know some of you can do it in my class so gently bring your hips down and open your arms keep breathing and then gently if you want you can walk your elbows forward and then sit down and then slowly come up and then if you want to do side splits you need to come out completely and then do the side splits and gently bring your knees up hands behind then you should wipe your knees to the right to the left awesome that's what i wanted you all to experience today and now we'll do some breathing exercise this is very important till now we were not holding our breath at all now what we do is 10 cycles take a big inhale into your tummy into your chest into your shoulders until you cannot inhale any more and just hold it for however long and smooth exhale don't <clears throat> out like that take your time and gently release it and let's do 10 cycles of that and then again deep inhale push your tummy out hold it for however long you want i would hold it for 10 seconds to start with or whatever works for you maybe 5 seconds to start with and then go from there ready inhale until you can't inhale any more hold tuck your chin and hold it inhale your chin up and slowly release one more time inhale gently relax normal breathing all right how do you feel good And then there is one more practice called bhastrika i know you all can do it but all you have to do is tuck your abs inhale open your fingers wide exhale forceful exhalation and 
gently relax normal breathing any tingling sensations on your forehead enjoy the bliss Just focus on your breath. Gently release. Rub your palms. Bring warmth into your palms. Take your palms into your face and touch your eyes, your cheeks, sliding out towards your temples. And gently looking at your palms. Open your eyes. Now we'll do what is called as yoga nidra. Yoga nidra, if you want to do lotus pose, feel free, or half lotus is also okay. Half lotus is putting one ankle on the opposite thigh. But I know you all can do it, so do it. Bring both heels onto your opposite thighs. And now clasp your hands at the back so you are. Right hand goes to your left wrist. Okay. And keeping your back strong and straight, big inhale. Exhale, fall forward. Bring your forehead to the mat. A normal breathing. Three, two, and one. Inhaling, slowly come up. Relax. Now switch your grip. Now your left hand goes to your right wrist and holds it. Inhale, look up. Lift your chest up. And while exhaling, fall forward. Stay on. Three, two, and one. Inhaling slowly, come up. Release, bring your hands to your lap. Just two breaths of rebound. And slowly transition onto your tummy, going into spring sports. We did a lot of forward fold, so we need to do some back bend. It's a counter pose. So slowly come down onto your tummy. Your elbows are right below your shoulders. So big inhale and just relax. Relax your tummy, relax your hips. Relax, relax everything on your back of your body towards, press it into your mat and become a jello on the mat. So let go deeper beyond our muscles, a little bit more into your connective tissues. The change happens here, guys. 
Just relax. No tension anywhere in the body. Just observe your breath. Any uneasiness, breathe into it. And slowly bending one knee, bring your heel to your hips and switch. What do you call this pose? Bollywood heroine pose? Yeah. Maybe not nowadays, but golden days, yeah. Definitely. All right, switch. All right, now gently bring both feet to the mat. Separate out your elbows as much as you can away from each other. Stack your palms and bring your forehead to the stand. And bring your right knee into your right arm. Straighten out your right leg. Now bring your left knee and your left arm to as much closer as possible. Slowly straighten your left leg and gently bring your hands towards your chest and roll onto your back. All right. Bring your knees into your chest and roll up and down. Massage your spine. All right. And slowly lie down your backs and bring your right knee into your chest. Hold it. Straighten your right leg, bring your left knee into your chest. This help massage your upward column and downward column. So it's really helpful for detoxification. Drink lots of water today. In fact, every day helps you 
cleanse your system a lot. All right. Now bring both knees into your chest and take your forehead into your knees. Into Pavana Mukta Asana. If you have Kapala body in your practice, pump it out 20 times here. Gently relax your neck back and take your feet up into the ceiling. Dandasana. Ten breaths. Slowly coming into happy baby. Peace fingers to your big toes, elbows on your knees and pull your heels into your hips and push your tailbone into the mat, the full length of your spine in the mat. Keep pushing your heels into your hips. It's a great hip opener. And gently, gently bring your knees together. Open your arms, drop your knees to one side, look over your opposite shoulder and just finally twist. Gently inhale your knees up, drop them to the opposite side, look over your opposite shoulder. Inhale your knees up, drop everything to the right side, use your right bicep as a pillow. Just zone out here. Using your left hand as a prop, inhale, slowly come up. Head and neck wing, the last ones coming up. Find a comfortable seated posture. We'll chant Om for three times. Take a big inhale. Grabbing all the positive energy from today's practice around you and spread it into your whole house. Inhale. Oh. One more time. Huge big inhale and spread out all the goodwill to your loved ones.
Grabbing all the positive energy one more time. Exhale, bring it into you through your forehead for wisdom, lips for truth, and heart for compassion. Rub your palms. Take a big inhale. Spread out one more time your goodwill and love for your near and dear. Thank you all for joining me on this beautiful snowy Saturday morning. Have a good rest of the day and weekend. Enjoy. Thank you all.